Welcome to Vlogmas. My name is Jenny and I'm a crocheter based in North Yorkshire in the UK. Throughout December, I'm recording snippets of daily life to share with you. Grab yourself a cup, get comfortable, and I hope you enjoy watching. It is Saturday, the 16th of December, and therefore the 16th day of Vlogmas, which is why I'm here. Um, I haven't recorded much today. Uh, I got up late, hello Neris, um, uh, because it was Saturday, it is Saturday, just. Um, it's late by the way, it's after midnight again, <laughs> so technically it's Sunday, but I'm counting this as a Saturday still. Yeah, I had a, a long lie-in, because I was up so late last night, um, and Kelvin and Ned very kindly let me sleep, which was lovely. Um, and then I did my advents just before lunch, I did a look, I filmed that for you, but just showing you them rather than talking about them, just because it was getting late. Um, and then... This afternoon, we went ice skating for the first time ever. It was really good fun. Hard work. I was terrible at it. <laughs> Ned did better than I did. Um, nearly fell over quite a few times. But he managed to stay on his feet with our help. I went all the way over <laughs> once. But I was fine. Just banged my knees a bit. But I'm absolutely fine. Um, we've all got very sore feet and knees and ankles. <laughs> But it's okay. It's okay. It was good fun. Um, if we do ever do it again, I think we might try and get some lessons first. But that's quite expensive, I think. So I don't know. We shall see. Maybe we'll just have another go next year when they come back. I hope if they come back. I hope they do. Um, I didn't take any footage while skating because you weren't supposed to, and I didn't feel safe enough to do so. Um, but I've taken some pictures and I think a little video of the lights and everything. Um, they had a little kind of fun fair amusement area set up as well. So we did 
hook a duck and oh I bought some salted caramel fudge it's just here which is delicious and some sweets for boys and what else did we do well, we went on a um like an old-fashioned carousel is it called a carousel do I mean that I think so you know with the horses that go up and down um which I've also taken a bit of footage of I don't know how well it's come out but if it has come out well I'll put that in for you as well um and then we came home and had a quick tea and we all got into our pajamas and Ned stayed up and watched the Strictly final with me oh my goodness how good was that they are just all such phenomenal dancers I might have to watch some of it again because we had it on the big telly big telly the telly um which actually meant I couldn't see it as well as I would if I had it on my tablet because I have my tablet kind of here while I'm watching it um so I might just have to watch some of the dances again just to get the full effect um but oh it was wonderful spoiler spoiler alert I'm about to mention the winner because I'm super happy super happy so if you haven't seen it and you don't want to know this is your final warning turn this off now or skip ahead five minutes well if that because Ellie and Vito won I'm so happy I'm so happy oh I mean any of the three couples deserved it they were just they were all amazing all amazing but yeah Ellie and Vito have been my favorites for quite some time now not from the beginning because I didn't really know who Ellie was but she very quickly became a favorite of mine and has been my winner for weeks now so I'm really really happy that they won they both seem like lovely people um and I know there's been lots of rumors in the press and you know I don't normally go along with these things but even without all the stuff in the press and on social media and that they are so clearly madly in love with each other don't you think? I don't know if I'm just picking up on something that isn't there. I don't know. But to me, they are so clearly madly in love with each other. I really hope they end up together. They, they're gorgeous together. We'll see. We'll see. I hope so. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um. Anyway, that's about it for today, really. But two more parcels have turned up today. Um, which I think I've got Christmas presents in. I've got a little one and a bigger one. So I thought I'd just open those up as well. Just try and make sure I don't show you my dress. Let's see if I can get into here, find out what they are. Neris is helping. She's giving it a good sniff for me. <laughs> what does it smell like, Neris? She's been chasing sticks all evening again. Say sticks, twigs. She brings she's taken. In the last few weeks, you've probably seen the odd little snippet of me mentioning it. Um, she has taken to bringing in little, little twigs that she's found outside, which was a touch annoying until I thought, actually, you know what? That's a lot better than the mice or the birds that she used to bring. <laughs> Much easier to clean up. So I'm not going to complain. She can keep bringing twigs in. Quite happy about that. Ooh. No, it's okay, the label is not on camera. Oh, this one smells nice. Oh, that's a lovely little thank you card. I really do need to get some thank you cards made up, don't I? So everybody puts them in and they're just lovely. It's a nice little touch. What is in here? What have I been ordering? So many things. Like I said the other day, most of it has arrived now. Sorry, it's really loud again. But there are just, there's just the odd thing left to turn up. Um, oh, sorry, itch. There we go. Oh, the Very securely wrapped. <laughs> Very securely wrapped. Oh, and nicely packaged up. There's another one where I'm going to have to ruin the wrapping to check what it is. Oh, and a little thank you sticker on the front of the box as well. Look at that, it's been done up like a present and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to open it because I don't know what it is otherwise. 
I have a suspicion, but I just, I don't know for certain. I'm going to have to ruin the ribbon and the tissue paper. Oh, it should feel so beautifully. Oh, super secure. Tons of bubble wrap. Oh, and another thank you sticker. I think that just must, must just be the stickers that they use for um, everything. Which I've had to now cut through, but never mind. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It's not what I thought it was. This is for... This is for my friend Lindsay. Lindsay, I know you watch my videos sometimes. And I'm going to be seeing you really soon, so I'm going to bring this to you. Is it Monday? No, it can't be Monday. Is it Thursday? It's next week anyway, isn't it? So please just, just, I don't know, skip ahead a couple of minutes. I'm going to show it very quickly just so everyone else can see. Okay. Final warning, Lindsay. Look away if you haven't already. I've got her a mug. Yeah. It says, you are braver than you believe. Stronger than you think, and loved more than you know. And that just, she is all of those things. Um, and she's been, well, I, I, yeah, no, I was just going to say what I was going to say. She is probably my closest friend these days. Um, in fact, no, it's, there's no probably about it. She is, she is my closest friend. We've both, we've both been through a lot. I'll get that back in the box. We've both been through a lot in the last couple of years. And, you know, I have done my best to support her in any way that I can. Um, don't always feel that I'm like I'm doing a great job, but I guess that's natural. Um, I'm certainly trying. She has been an absolute rock for me. And source of comfort and sofa therapist you know we we see each other roughly once a month sometimes it stretches a bit longer um and we get drunk and eat snacks and chat about the world sometimes do some crochet but it depends and I always just feel so much better afterwards quite often end up having a cry one or the both of us <laughs> um yeah and I can't I can't afford to get much this time but I try and get a little gift well just whenever I see them really whenever I see anything that I think she'd like because well she's special so anyway I hope you have a friend like Lindsay I hope you have a Lindsay too so it's that basically don't see the label. This is the other parcel that has arrived. A box within a box. It's a good box, actually. I might keep that one. Oh, goody. Yay. Sorry, that was really like, what was that? Oh, don't think I ever say goody. Um, this is, yeah, it is. This is one of the favourite things that I've ordered, actually. This is for um, Kelvin's stepdad, Andy. I think I mentioned when I did the, no, when was it, was it yesterday maybe? Or the day before? Um, I bought my tin of biscuits and he's the one that I bought the oven gloves for from the knitting and stitching show. Oh, the biscuits won't fit in here, that's a shame. Not in the packet anyway. I'll have to open them up and put them in for him. I don't know, I don't know. Um, I've bought him a treat tin. <laughs> so I am a renowned chocoholic and have a whole mouth full of sweet teeth. <laughs> Never mind one sweet tooth. And he is my rival <laughs> for this. He is my rival for the crown of chocoholism. Um, so I've got the treat in. And he is, you know, granddad to Ned, our son, and to Ned's two cousin. Oh, how cute is that? Personalised, I think. Where did I find this? I think this was on made me uk where i have my shop as well i can't remember the seller's name and they haven't put it in but i'll try and link them underneath 
granddad's treats to be shared with Ned Henry Zander. So you can personalise the text and the monsters. So I've chosen what the monsters look like and I've chosen the text. So I love it. So you can keep all his uh, treats in there. That's like a little It might just be one of those silica gel things. It must be, surely. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, that's okay. Keep it dry in there. But yeah, and you can share those with the boys when they're around. Um, as I said before, Ned goes to Granny and Grandad's roughly once a week. Um, and I believe Henry is undergo on a Monday roughly once a week. So, yes, that will get used a lot, I'm sure. <laughs> um, I think that's it. I haven't got anything else to say. I've got lots of little jobs to do tomorrow. Nothing too strenuous because it's Sunday tomorrow. Kelvin is going out to his brothers, I believe, to play Warhammer. And so it'll just be me and Ned for most of the day, which is fun. Um, so fidgeting. Let's see if you can hear weird noises. You, well, there's Neris playing with her twigs in the background, and then there's me fidgeting. Um, else was I going to say? Do, do, do. Yes, I shall try not to let Ned play on the PlayStation and watch YouTube all day. <laughs> but he has had a late night tonight and we've been out and done things and he'll be back at school on Monday. So not too bothered if he does a, has a lot of screen time. Um, I want to put a few more Christmas decorations up so I shall get him to help with that. Um, bribe him with pocket money. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe a couple of other bits and pieces. We shall see. And I shall obviously take you along with me as much as possible and uh, share what we're up to. Oh, she's running around in circles. I can't. Can I turn? Can I turn you to see? I don't know if that'll. I hope. Oh, she's stopped now. I'm just going to leave it like that for a minute and see if she does anything silly. There she goes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, right. Well, if that hasn't worked, I'll have to clip it out. But I'm hoping that I've just shared some footage of Neris being a muppet with you. It's just so funny. Uh, oh, bless her. Right, that's it. Thank you, as always, for watching, and I hope you are feeling Christmassy and that you've been enjoying your weekend, or whenever you have been watching this. Um, I'll probably be releasing this one on Monday, I hope, but we shall see. And you may well watch it at some point in the future, so whenever you watch it, I hope you're having a good time. If not, remember that things almost always get better and take care and I shall be back soon I completely forgot to say just now I've been catching up on um, the vlogmas videos from Ali at This Little Wonderful Life and also um, her other channel is Little Drops of Wonderful and also catching up on the Advent Baby Blanket that I'm doing um, using the Crochet Society Advent Calendar yarn. I'm now up to day 14. Quite liking the effect it's making. And I said the other day I wasn't sure how big I was going to let it get. I am leaning towards going all the way up to day 25 with increased rows. Well, using day 25 as the middle, so the longest section. But it might end up only being like one or two rows long, wide one or two rows wide, and then working back through the colours with the same number of rows for each one so that it's like a mirror, mirrored effect on each side, does that make sense? I don't know if that's definitely what I'll do, but I shall see, because I'm up to day 14 now. It is quite a good size, but obviously the rows are getting um, narrower because they're getting longer, and so 20, 25 minute videos. I can't get as much done. <laughs> and then every now and then there's a really short video as well, so which is fine, that's not a complaint. That's just how these things go. Um 
So we'll see. I might not end up doing that, but that's what I'm leading towards at the moment. Hello. It is the 17th of December. It's, well, I think technically it's the 18th now. It's very late. Um, I'm not even going to look at how late it is because I don't care. I have recorded absolutely nothing today. I think I've taken a couple of photos. I might share them with you, I might not. Um, that is, here comes Nerys. That is mostly just because there hasn't been a lot to record. We haven't done much really. Um, also because I've been in a bit of a bad mood today. Nothing drastic. Um, just a bit, you know, a bit blue. Um, and I don't really know why. There's lots of little things it could be. Um, my suspicion is that just all of those little things have kind of piled up together and contributed to this feeling of glumness that's going on. I'm feeling a bit better now than I was earlier. This is ridiculous. Um, Kelvin and I watched Claws this evening while having homemade-ish pizzas and ice cream. Ben and Jerry's fish food, my favourite. <sighs> Neris has been very cuddly, which is lovely. Oh, oh, are we having a proper cuddle? Okay, maybe. I do need my hands in a moment. Um, what else have I done? Not a huge amount. I have been out for a very, very short walk to <laughs> pick something up from a very local business. According to Google, she is 140 yards away from our front door. <laughs> That's the crow flies. Um, so that was nice. Nice to get out of the house, even if only briefly. I don't normally say that, but I need it today. Nah, nah, it's been a little shit, quite frankly. Excuse my language. Um, just moody and argumentative and whingy. Uh, well, seven going on 17. <sighs> Not in a good way. Um, but he went off to bed nicely. We had a really lovely bedtime. Red. A couple of chapters of The Christmasaurus by Tom Fletcher to him, uh, which we bought this time last year. And what else have I done? Oh, I have blocked the front and back panel of my Christmas jumper. And I am well on my way with the second sleeve. So I'll see how much of that I can get done over the next couple of days. Um wrapped some presents and briefly seeing my dad tomorrow so I'll hand over their presents because we won't be seeing them on Christmas Day. Honestly that's about it. Oh I have very deliberately backed out of a couple of crochet projects that I was feeling a little bit stressed about. Um, so that's taken a bit of a weight off my mind this evening as well. Um, I will do them at some point, just not now. Uh, yeah, not going to say too much about those, but they were large-ish projects and I've got enough of those going on at the moment, so. Um, oh, Ned and I put some more Christmas decorations up, just bits and pieces around the house. Did I mention yesterday that Kelvin and I put some lights up outside oh you'll have seen a picture of our new outside lights along the front of the house so that's nice right i'm going to try and end on a positive note um i haven't done my advent calendars yet today so i'm going to do them now um i can't be bothered to open them properly on camera so i'm just going to show you the contents on here we have first up the yarn from the vicky brown's calendar which Today is called Madame Min. That is, of course, from the Sword in the Stone. Colours won't show up perfectly because it's not daylight. 
but hopefully you get a good idea. Oh, that's very pretty. It's all good. You see the darker pop of colour there. That'll look really lovely in whatever I use it in. Um, and yeah, there's a couple of other bits. There's a bit there at the end as well. I hope that's showing up okay. Um, and then the Crochet Society box 17. This is the one I accidentally opened up um, when I first started working on the baby blanket. So I'll have mentioned that at some point. So uh, this has already been, not that I'm doing it with all of them, but this has been caked up. No longer in the label. Uh, this one is called Royal Icing. I don't know if you can read that. It's very tiny writing. But it is called Royal Icing. It's bright white. And then the other bit which I did not look at. Oh, this is another little patch to sew in. Like, was it yesterday's or was it Friday's? It was a ho 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 patch. This one. You know what? I'm going to take it out of the packaging so you can see it properly. Maybe if I can get in. Yes, I can. Okay, and we've got the shiny reflections. So, this is a, another little patch that I can sew or stick on. Yarn is life. Sounds about right. <laughs> Certainly my life. Um, so I shall attach that to a project bag, bag at some point. Having said that, I've still got all the ones from two years ago when I last had the Crochet Society Advent Calendar, so I don't know when it will be. At some point, I think, like I said, after Christmas, I want to um, to go through all my project bags and the projects that are in them and have a proper sort out. Hopefully I will get a couple of extra bags with Christmas and birthday presents. Um, I have got my eye on a couple if I get any money to spend. Um, so yes, I shall go through and sort them out, pretty them up, you know, put patches on and badges on and bag charms, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, that's really it. That's all I've got to say today. So I'm sorry it's been a very short day, as far as you guys are concerned, um, and not very interesting, but hey, that's just how it is sometimes. Uh, tomorrow, Kelvin's got the day off work, we are going to the Christmas Carol concert that Ned's school is doing, I won't be able to film there, but I might be able to take a couple of pictures of the church which would be nice, um, and maybe just sneakily do like a voice record, audio record of some of the singing, maybe. Um, I might take some crochet with me to keep my hands busy as well. Uh, Ned will be singing, but only like two or three times, and we'll be there for like an hour, hour and a half, so yeah, might take something with me, maybe my Christmas jumper. And probably manage to work on that while I'm there. Uh, and then I'm at the Indie Business Club in the evening, the final meeting of the year. So, yeah, that should be good fun, hopefully. Nice to wrap up the year with everyone. Uh, I think we're making uh, like, a, like a plan of action for the year to come, I think is the sort of idea behind tomorrow's session. So, That'd be good. Right. Um, I should go to bed. It's very, very late. I'm not going to. I don't feel ready. I don't feel sleepy. And the way my brain is working at the moment, if I'm not properly sleepy when I go to bed, I will just lie there thinking lots of unhelpful thoughts, all the unwelcome, intrusive, negative thoughts are crowding around tonight. So I'm going to put them off for a bit longer <laughs> um, in the hope of getting a bit sleepy, watch some more Vlogmas videos and do a bit more crochet. And I've got a couple of other bits that I want to just tidy up before I go to bed. So I'm going to be very tired tomorrow, but at 
that's just how it is sometimes. Hopefully I will have some more positive and interesting things to show you. Thank you for watching. I'll be back tomorrow.